Hey Pokies, how it is? How are you doing today? It is just 6 Charlie here. We do an upload. I was supposed to upload this battle last week, but I forgot it was Tuesday. I got caught up and I had to do something and whatever. But today is a different Tuesday. Today is the Tuesday. Uh, I think today is actually the last day of winter or the first day of spring or something like that. So let's all be happy. Enjoy the weather. Hopefully everything will be good and dandy. But today I have an Edu match against the Edu Emerald Goblin. It is a very good match and I hope you guys like it. And I hope you guys are going to, you know, you know what I mean. I hope you guys are going to like it all. I wish to get the battle story before I forget what to say. So, I lead off of my girder. Right, before I start this off, this team has actually been working out really, really well for me. Like, I'm on the second page of our NU right now because of this team that I made. It's actually really well. So, predicting him to go for a taunt for his uh, first move, I'm just going to go straight for a trade punch. And it's actually a different girder set, not a violate. It's actually toxic or gut set that I made, whatever. Taunt, I go for trade punch. It doesn't kill, it does a little bit under half. But knowing what the guts. I know I can kill him with another chain punch, but he shows me that he has raid dance on this thing, so I'm like, oh, okay, this is a little weird, but whatever. I can see why he has it just because of this photo. So, I was fearing the ice punch, so I'm like, maybe I can take one, I don't know, what am I doing? But, he goes to the waterfall, but I guess he doesn't have ice punch, so I just go straight for the sleep powder, and then I just go straight for the leech seed, hoping to catch something off guard if he does switch out, which he does, he goes to Jarmaro, so I do hit him with the leech seed, and now he predicts me to switch out, which is a really good play on his part, and I switch out into my Gigalith, as I take a stone, uh, stone it actually does it really well, with about, uh, with about, with about, uh, reasonable health. And yeah, if you hear TV in the background, sorry. But I take it reasonable health. And you know how it, how it does. But now this thing shell smashes. I'm like, oh, 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 God, this thing is going to start sweeping my team. But I do have toxic on this thing. So it is just going to really wear it down. The only thing I do know is that I'm going to have to start sacrificing things on my team if I want to take this thing out. So first thing I'm going to have to sacrifice, I to do that, is my Gigalith. Because, you know, Gigalith isn't going to do a lot more in this match. It got up the Toxic on this thing, which it really needed to do. And now I, w I said to this thing, didn't think he's going to have the ice cream, but he does. And he also gets a critical hit, which just added itself to injury. So I'm thinking, oh my god, I probably pass his next side out to die, but he also, he misses his hydro pump. So I'm like, oh, I can just hit him with the fold switch, and look how much that does. That does a, a lot. So now I know I can just switch out into my girder, as this thing does have little, oh, it just does. It just does. Flat out dies. Oh, whoops. So here I make a really costly play. He goes to hydro pump. I was kind of bank on him missing, so I just go straight for the poke up, and I'm like, why not just do that? Because I'm just going to die off to toxic and... Stuff. So, I just go out to my butter free, and knowing that he already has his photo, so I'm just gonna go straight for a quiver dance, knowing I can take at least one hit. Now, looking at that damage, I'm like, oh, maybe I can kill it, maybe I can't, I don't really know. So, I'm just gonna go straight for Bug Buzz, and actually, he lives with the switching of health. But he was a nice little chunk there, but with the side, with the uh, life of he lives with the tiniest switch of. So now I just go into Pinsir just to uh, do some work, as I like to call it. He goes, I go for close combat since I have choice bandit locked in. That's a kill. So that's one kill for Pinsir right now. He's gonna go into his Licky Licky, and Licky Licky can't take choice choice bandit close combat at all. So that's a second kill for Pinsir. So you know, Pinsir's two for two right now. You know, you know how he do. He just started to sweep it. All these guys float so, and he's asleep now. He wanted to go for the Aqua Jet. Try out speed beak. Trying to wake up, but I go for close pound red, and I get the third kill with the pincer. So pincer sweeps late game sweeper choice band works out, and you know what? I end the game. I mean, I don't end the game. I win the game because I am just that good with this team I made. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching this battle. It really means a lot to me, even though I did not upload last week. It was kind of so did I forgot, and all of a sudden I realized it was Tuesday, and it just came and flew. I came back at 11, I'm like, oh shit, it's Tuesday, but I talked to Ibanez, Ibanez says it's okay, because he hasn't uploaded in three weeks, but he should be back next week to bring you a nice, probably good match, hopefully, because he always brings some good matches, but anyways, from Mr. Red 620 to the Pokezone, as viewers, I am out, peace.